In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the mock-up feature here inside Easy Stone. Now, uh, the mock-up feature is a really powerful feature. It allows us to create lots of different types of mock-ups. And so I wanted to, first of all, show you some of the preset templates that Easy Stone already comes with when you first install it. So what we're going to do here is go to C Drive, Program Files, Easy Stone Macro, and you'll see a folder called Proof Sheets. And this is where all of our mock-up and proof sheets will be. So we'll go ahead and go in here. Now, the only catch is the proof sheets need to begin with the word proof. Um, and that tells Easy Stone that it's a proof. All right. So uh, that's the first thing. So the first thing you really want to do is kind of just go in here, take a look at these proof sheets. So let's take a look at this one, for example. This is proof sheet horizontal, horizontal one, 22 slot. Well, what in the devil does that mean? Well, let's just open it up and take a look. So this is what it means. The proof sheet is in a horizontal orientation. The image opening for our design would, would hold a horizontal design. And there are 22 slots for stone count information, which is generally more than you would ever need. But there's also some additional information where we could add some customer contact info if we were going to send this proof sheet to a customer for approval. And up here, there's some business contact info as well. You'll notice here there's a link, a little checkbox for the pre-cut template. The concept for this particular proof sheet, or mock-up if you will, the concept was this would be used as a sales tool. So let's say we have a thousand designs, right? Well, we're not necessarily going to cut a template for all a thousand designs, but we do want to present those to our customer on the off chance to make a sale, right? So the idea here is we would put this in a three ring binder, have this sitting on the counter or on our table if we're doing a craft show, and the customer can browse these designs that we that we have available, but we may not we may or may not have a template already cut for it. So if a customer picks a template and this box is checked, then we know that we have a pre-cut template for it and we can reference the design number, go to our filing system, pull that design number, and go ahead and make the transfer if necessary. Okay, so that's that's the concept behind that. Um, if, if this isn't checked, then we know that we don't have a pre-cut template available and we can communicate that to, to our customer that there's gonna be a delay in their order because we don't already have that particular design, a template ready made for that particular design. So that's the idea behind that. So let's go ahead and close this out and let's take a look at some other templates that we might have. So in here, what I did was I took an existing template and I actually modified it to have a tote bag layout. Okay, so you have lots and lots of flexibility. I also added my uh, logo. I mean, this is just a completely different configuration um, of however I wanted to lay it out. Okay, you have lots of flexibility. Let's go ahead and add, I tell you what, let's go ahead and add a glitter background to this. Okay, let's just do something silly like that and, and we'll come back to this. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Save those changes. We'll come back to that and we'll actually create a mock-up of our Mickey Mouse design uh, on that tote bag. But I just want to kind of show you all the different ones and you just familiarize yourself with what we have available here. And like this one, look at this one. This is, again, a completely different type of configuration. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share with you some different options. Now, this one I don't believe is in the default setup because uh, this is this was created afterwards. But my particular vendor actually gives us these images, these uh, images that we can use for our mockups, uh, gives us these high-res images. And so we can just modify an existing template and drop in whatever image we want and have ultimate flexibility. And that's the thing that's really exciting about our mockup feature is you have the ability to create your own configurations, your own layouts, your own backgrounds, however you want to do it, you can do it and do it very easily. So let me just show you how we're going to create this mock-up. So what I would do, once I have a design done, I'm going to copy this over and make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to right click on S and that will simulate the stones, give us our stone simulation. And then of course we'll do a glitter fill as well. So in this design, we'll do silver glitter. All right, so now I want to throw this on my tote bag uh, just, just to show you how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the entire design here. 
We're going to click MU for our mockup function. And now our mockup function has some additional options. We can give it a, a particular design name, a design number. We can add customer contact info. We can add our business contact info. We've got lots of options. Now, in this example, we're just going to bypass all that monkey business and just create a mockup. But it is there if we want to use it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our tote bag template. And again, this particular template is not one that's included with Easy Stone because I just grabbed a tote bag image off the internet and plopped it in there. But my point is I want to show you how easy it is to make mockups, but also how easy it is to make additional mockup templates uh, with your own images uh, and so forth. So let's go ahead and click on Create Proof Sheet. Now it's telling us that there's some data missing, and that's fine. We'll just bypass that. It's, we just want to warn you that, hey, if you intended to have all these data fields populated, you have some data missing. So we're going to say yes to bypass all that extra extraneous data that it's missing. And there is our, our layout. Now, how cool is that? We, we show the Mickey Mouse design on the tote bag. We have the total stone count. The, the actual stones that we use, customers don't care about that. They might want to know the total stone count, but honestly, not really. <laughs> uh, and, but you can see what we did is we did the design on the tote bag, but in this template, we also blew the design up. We have a, another option. And that is a really powerful feature, too, of our mock-up, is we have those extra options in here. And of course, now that we have this design in here, we could go ahead and add a more appropriate glitter fill, perhaps a black or, I don't know, maybe a, a darker pink or something, whatever you want to do. Lots of flexibility there, or if you just want to go back to a standard color. Nice neutral gray background. So very, very easy to create your mock-up. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's just try a different template here. So here's our template again. Let's try, let's see here, which one? Let's do horizontal, horizontal 24 slot, just to show you how that one works. So again, we'll hit create proof sheet. Again, we'll bypass all that monkey business of missing fields. And boom, there's our template, all ready to go. So you can see we have the type of stone that we're using. We're pulling from our standard library, um, the different stone colors, different stone sizes. And of course, we have all this extra data if we wanted it. We, but because we didn't enter any customer data, those fields are gone. Um, we didn't add, we didn't have a field for the phone number in this particular template. So that field is gone. Um, we have the date that the proof was created. And of course, we have the option to specify if we have a pre-cut template of this as well. Um, so anyhow, that is generically how that mock-up function works. And it's so very powerful because you'll be able to create whatever type of template you want to create. You know, we could have added our, our company logo down here in the template so that every time we generate this template, our company logo, maybe our web address, whatever we wanted, we have that flexibility because we're going to create the template. And then once we create that template, then we can just add the design to it just within a matter of a couple of seconds. So lots of flexibility. Now there's one more thing I want to show you because we get the question all the time is what if I want to put it on a shirt and color the shirt? Okay, so let me show you how that works. So we're going to go ahead and select our design now. Let's see here. This again is a t-shirt template that I created um, as a custom setup. So we're going to go ahead and create our proof sheet again. And yes, we're going to bypass all that missing data. And we're going to create our template, our, uh, our proof template. And just like before, we have this uh, setup where we have a big, now let's see what I did here. I don't know why I have it. It's so tiny. Let's, uh, let's close this out. And I think we should go look at that template. So here is our t-shirt template here. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. Well, let's just go ahead. I'm just going to... So that red box is where the where the design's supposed to go. So let me try that again. So we'll try uh, creating our, our uh, design. There we go. I don't know. Something something goofy happened the first time around. But there again, just like the tote bag, we have, we have the design on our shirt. And then we have the, the design blowing up. But what if we want to specify a certain color for our shirt yes you can do that um, we just click on the shirt to change the color 
And then uh, if we want to see the highlight, we can actually do something really goofy. By right clicking, you can create all kinds of different colors and things. Um, but usually I just right click on black to kind of show uh, the detail of the shirt a little bit more as well. So lots of flexibility there. Um, but that is how you can create your mockups. So you have a full range of options. And of course, with those full range of options, it, uh, you know, it can be a little bit more challenging initially to get it set up. But of course, the nice thing about it is we have those options. Um, so if you wanted to create a little koozie template or whatever you want, that background image can be anything you want it to be. And then we can add our image to it. And we'll make a separate video to show you how to go about editing the templates that come with Easy Stone to make up your own mock-up templates um, so you have a better understanding of, of how it all works. But once you get it set, it's super, super simple. Only takes a few seconds to create these mock-ups. So I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little something. And uh, if you have questions specifically about this mock-up feature, because I know it's one feature that people are really excited about um, and don't quite have a complete grasp of it, um, just shoot us an email or give us a call, and you know we can definitely walk you through setting up whatever kind of mock-up template you're looking to set up. Thanks for watching.